What is the most common sense practical at GCSE in physics? Well, it's that force is proportional to extension for a spring. Let's have a look at how we test that out. So you have the setup with a clamp stand and two clamps on it, one for your spring, one for your meter ruler. They have to be parallel to each other. More on that later. So how do you write the method? Well, first thing first, hang the spring from the end of the clamp. State in the obvious. You've got to state the obvious sometimes to get marks. The next one, um, and it's always helpful to have a diagram for this, is to position the meter ruler so that it's clamped parallel to the spring, so in line with the spring in the same direction. You could do that with a protractor or set square, but it needs to be parallel. Next, you're going to view the spring from eye level. What do you mean by that? Well, let's say you were doing the experiment, you'd crouch down so that your eyes were exactly level with the bottom of the spring. Then you'd use the ruler to measure the initial length of the spring. Okay, now depending on what um, results table you are given in a practical, um, you will want to mention that next. So let's say you were told to go up in two newtons, you'd say add two newtons to the end of the spring, or one newton, or five kilograms, or whatever it is, okay? Once you notice you add it, you should be able to see the spring has extended downwards um, so that it's gone past its initial length. So what you need to do then is essentially repeat step three. So at eye level, measure the new length using the meter ruler, okay? And to find the extension, how much it's gone up by, you subtract those two measurements, so stage three and five, the final length minus the initial length, and then put it in your table. Now, I've forgotten to mention here um, about you want to repeat this um, with two newtons added each time to make sure you get a range of results. Once you've got your results, um, you should be able to plot a graph. This graph is quite a, a nice graph. You should find um, it gives a nice, neat, straight line. So you've got force, our independent variable on the x-axis, extension on the y, a line of s-fit should go um, through the origin like so. It can curve up a little bit at the end. Um, that just means it's gone past its elastic limit. So what does it show us? It's a straight line through the origin. It shows us the two things are directly proportional. So two things directly proportional. Um, now, that's what we're trying to prove. Um, you could also work out the spring constant from this graph by doing the change in force divided by change in extension. Um, now, we could also tell it's directly proportional from the table, which is as one variable doubles two to four, the other variable also doubles from 0 0.03 to 0 0.06. How do you make sure this experiment is accurate? Well, we want to make sure the clamp um, has the ruler parallel to the spring to make sure um, we get an accurate reading. And we want to measure it at eye level. Okay, so that will be a control variable. We'll do that every time. Don't change it. Independent and dependent variable are quite straightforward here. So force, you change. Extension, you measure. Uh, and safety, use goggles and keep the stand in the middle of the table.